know the age-old question, if a tree falls in a forest and no one is around, does it still make a sound? Well, here's another one. If a tornado touches down in a forest and no one is around, how do you measure the damage? That's the challenge for NOAA. After a tornado, the National Weather Service conducts a survey of the area. They examine structures and assign intensity ratings based on the amount of damage. But in rural areas, without typical damage indicators like buildings, it's very difficult to determine an accurate rating for a tornado. They may be underrated or even undocumented, and that impacts the accuracy of the NOAA Storm Events database. We need to have an accurate storm database for researchers that use it to understand why a storm might produce a tornado and why one may not produce a tornado, and then that research is used to make better forecast tools. So we want to make sure we create as accurate a storm database as we can for that research that we do here. Studying storm damage in hard to reach locations is the focus of researchers at NOAA's National Severe Storms Laboratory. They are using remote controlled, uncrewed aircraft to capture aerial photos and video of storm damage. We're focusing on rural areas because these are the most problematic areas for understanding how strong a tornado is. If a tornado only impacts vegetation, currently it's very difficult to assign an accurate rating to how strong that tornado was. Their main tool is a fixed wing aircraft. The team maps out its route and sends it off. Specialty cameras provide researchers with extremely high resolution images, including information not visible to the human eye. So the multispectral camera has two additional bands that collects information on vegetation. Particularly, it has the red edge band and the near infrared band. In these bands, vegetation is highly responsive. So based off of the response that we see in those bands, we're able to better see where the damage has occurred and the magnitude of damage to vegetation, which can help us better assign the rating associated with storm intensity. After the imagery is collected, the researchers will process and analyze damage information. By more accurately recording a tornado's intensity and path, forecasters can draw upon these past events to better predict future outbreaks. For more on this NOAA research, check us out online and follow us. Enjoying our content? Check out other bite-sized science videos here. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a future video.